welcome everyone back home. We're here again with uh, Heki Budla. He's sporting the t-shirt, uh, SA Boxing Talk right there. Uh, South Africa's biggest online boxing talk show. Uh, we're basically here to catch up. You know, it's been, it's been a while since you obviously came back from uh, Asia and uh, it didn't go according to plan that day. Um, let's talk more about that day. What, what happened? Uh, basically, why, why, did you, why did you get defeated that day? Well, um, I don't like to talk about it too much, um, what really happened and things. He just beat me. He was better than me. Um, and I was just not in the fight. But I had problems leading up to it and in the fight. Um, especially with the weather there, not the weather, the, <laughs> the, the pollution. So I struggled to breathe. Um, it's not an excuse. Um, yeah, I don't know. He just beat me. He was better than me on a day. What do you think when you're boxing different guys like, I mean, Japan, Philippines, which guys do you find harder to fight in terms of styles? Sure. Mostly, I think Filipino guys. I know I've beaten most of the Filipinos that fought against, but they're hard, tough guys. Because um, I think they know I've been to the Philippines and they know that there's nothing to go back to. They need to have that job. They need to work because there isn't a lot of work there because there's so many people. Um, but they just come forward and they throw like a million punches around and it's just the hardest guys to fight against. If um, people obviously ask a lot about you and um, obviously after fights went a little bit quiet, so what have you been getting up to since the fight? Um, well, a lot of home improvements. Like you know, you know yeah. my wife personally. Um, she always has me keeping busy with something, so painting and building cupboards and <laughs> all types of stuff. But I've just been keeping busy. Um, doing a bit of running, a bit of training, not too much. Um, yeah, going to the doctor, do that, some tests, sorting that out. But yeah, just keeping myself busy, busy with life, training a few people now and then if I can. Um, I enjoy doing that. Um, but yeah, just trying to stay busy, trying to stay active, trying to just keep going, keep living. Ideally now, like in an ideal world, what's, what's next for you? Hopefully, um, probably a warm-up fight, hopefully fight as soon as I can. Um, and then back to the to the world title challenging, um, fighting someone that's in the ratings or fighting a world champion, hopefully. But I've got a good manager, like you know, who's behind me and who's been guiding my career quite well. So, well, not quite well, very well, and he'll make the right decisions for me. Let's talk about your MTK. You obviously signed with, uh, obviously Colin Nathan heads up the MTK yeah. Africa division. You've signed up with MTK. Do you see the benefits from it coming? Um, obviously you haven't experienced the benefits yet, but do you see them coming in the future? Well, I believe so, because I've, I've seen the fighters that they, how do you say, they manage, yes, yes, they, they but... use, that they that are connected to them, are getting great fights, are getting big money fights, are fighting for world titles, and I believe, and with Colin's guidance, because I've known what Colin's done for me, with them backing him as well, I think it can just be better for, for every fighter that, that, that they see can become something, even for South African boxing, I think it's great for South African fighters, because um, there's more publicity, more, more opportunities out there because of them. And, uh, of course, a, w a lot of South African fans. Obviously, you don't mind where you travel so long as, the, let's, say the, let's say, the world title's on the line and the pay is right. So let's say you don't really mind, but obviously a lot of South African spectators are still probably wanting you. Yeah, we haven't seen you for a while. Um, is there any sort of possibility in the future of that happening again? Um, I think the plan so far is for my next fight to be in June or July, and that's going to be in South Africa. Okay. So far, that's what I've heard. Um, so hopefully, um, God willing, we'll fight then and we'll fight in South Africa. Do you think that um, coming, um, obviously you've, you've done this before, you, you, you've lost <laughs> yeah. and you've come back and you've lost and, you come, and you win world titles and every time you lose you sort of do something even better. What can we expect this time? Oh, hopefully, God willing again, um, a stronger and better Eki Butler. Um, I'm going to work as hard as I always do, maybe even a bit harder this time um, and just put everything into it again. Hopefully the doors will open again and I'm still got, I feel i still got a lot left because I'm still 30, I'm still young in boxing terms. Um, so hopefully I can, I can achieve what I want to achieve again and that's be a world champion and just win a f some of the other belts that I haven't won yet. Let's talk about, okay, so what, what, the belt that, that, you, that you haven't uh, got yet, the WBC title, is that? And the WBO. And the WBO title, the, obviously the big four, you got the IBF and the WBA. You have achieved the Ring Magazine, which is probably the biggest honor yeah. in the game. Is, 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 is it being too greedy to, to want maybe the WBC and the WBO or do you feel like Winning the Ring magazine was the oh, biggest. See, my, when I started, that's why I didn't want to go to the Olympics or fight amateur too long. I wanted to be a professional and win the Ring magazine belt. Yeah. That was my main goal. Now I've achieved that and I had to change my goals. I want to be a world champion again. I want to be a WBC champion, a WBA champ. There's other fighters out there. I want to be a WBA champ again. I want to be an IBF champ again. 
I don't care who I fight, I always like to fight the best guys in the division to prove myself against the best. So whoever they want me to fight, whatever title is available, I'll fight for it. For young boxers coming up now, wanting to be the next Hecky Butler, what would you uh, give advice? Because obviously the boxing team at, uh, at amateurs now, it's becoming less and less and less. But there are still youngsters out there who want to pursue the sport, but they just need that extra push. What advice would you give to them? Well, um, if, you're, if, if I'm talking to an amateur fighter, I'd say stick to amateurs as long as you can. Try and go as far as you can. Fight as many fights as you can. Get the right coach behind you. Um, turn pro when your coaches say you're ready. I think that's the most important thing. Because while not an amateur coach, because a lot of amateur coaches will want to keep you amateur Forever, to fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so when you feel you're ready and people around you say you're ready to make it, try out for it. Um, and when you turn pro, put your heart and soul into it. Um, I lost a lot of friends like you know because of, I don't go drawling, I can't. Um, they want to go out, especially when I was 18 or 19 when you just get your ID and your your your, your your chill, what, your, your reason to drink, yeah. you're allowed to drink when you're 18, you're allowed to go out to the club. And I couldn't go with my friends because I was on a national team, I was boxing, I couldn't do it. If you want to achieve everything you can in boxing, put those things on hold and concentrate everything you can in boxing. I'm not saying don't ever go out or don't ever have a drink in your life. Um, when you have your time, have, have a sip of, of a beer, have a beer, mm. whatever the case may be. Enjoy yourself as well, um, but put your heart and soul into it. Train as hard as you can. Like, I, like you know when I train, I break myself down every time I train. I try to kill myself every time I train. Um, so put everything you, you can into it and just believe that, you, that you're better than, than you want to be and that you can be better than you ever thought you can be. Obviously, you have fans. Who, are you a fan of anyone? Well, I'm a fan of a few fighters. My favorite fighters is def, def, fighter is definitely Vasily Machenko. He's the best fighter in the world to me. Um, then Golden Boy, I love him. I think he's one of the top fighters in South Africa right now, maybe in the world. And there's a few guys, um, but still, um, Vasily is the number one guy in my eyes. Obviously, those, those two that you just mentioned, they, they are not right now ever going to fight. Do you think no. that um, weight division-wise, I mean, they are in very similar. I think Lomachenko has stepped up to lightweight, yeah. so he's stepped back. Yeah. Do you think that they could potentially fight one day if all goes well for Golden Boy? Yeah, I think he needs, Fuz Fuzzy needs a few more fights. Um, he was a good amateur and he's a great fighter. Um, Lomachenko was a great amateur and he's a great fighter. Definitely. And maybe one day, if the money's right, take the fight. That's what I would say. Um, it will be a hard fight for him to win. Southpaw versus Southpaw, very boring fight sometimes. As yeah, well. but to a his style, he makes anything Yeah, great. you're all the matrix. Um, but, I don't know, I think, I think it could happen. Not now. I would advise Fazil not to take it now. Yeah. Have a few more fights. Win your first world title, have a defense. Just and establish then go, yourself. Yeah, yeah, establish yourself, then go, go for something like that. Okay, so basically, that's us catching up with you. Um, you obviously, we don't want to talk too much about the football that just happened. No, uh, no, 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 please don't. Um, <laughs> want to make me start crying. <laughs> Hickey is a big, uh, can we say it? Yeah, of course you can. He's a big Man United supporter, so if any other, wa everyone wants to identify with football, and it's a different world, but uh, yeah. At the moment, I'm a big Man City supporter because they only need to win the league. Yeah, yeah, and no one wants Liverpool to win the league at the no. moment. <laughs> Especially not the Liverpool supporters, right? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, lastly, do you want to give a quick shout out to the people that are supporting you and be watching this video? Yeah, um, thanks for watching boxing. All around, even if you don't support me, if you do, thanks for supporting me, but thanks for supporting boxing. Thanks for supporting this great guy. Um, keep on thanks. watching. It's a great show, it keeps boxing alive. Um, and like you see, we've even got football in it as well. So even the football supporters come and watch the boxing show. It works out for you guys as well. And um, thanks for everything, guys. God bless all of you. Keep them up. Cool. Thank you very much for watching, everyone.